And she would never say that to me because she knows better. When these people ask me... Everybody, a welcome in. Uh, let's get into the ninth a phone with Letitia Evil Stout and her friend Amy Bolton. This is probably one of the most boring a phone calls I've ever listened to. But I just want you to hear Letitia Stout's a dynamics with Amy Bolton. And with that, uh, let's get into it. In global telling. Hey. What's, What's up? Yo, huh? yeah, work. No, it's Saturday. Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm teaching the kids on Saturday. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. I'm sorry. Yes, we got to get you a calendar and then keep track of the day. I'm telling you, some days it's one year, some days it's another month, some days I don't even know. <laughs> It's almost been a year, I feel. Yeah. I know. Like, I never even know, like, they, what, I don't even never know. So I just be like, one minute It's just bullshit, though, like, because you're supposed to have a speedy trial, but your trial literally hasn't even started, and it's almost been a year. That's yeah. not speedy. No, they're doing that to a lot of people. Wow. And this one dude, he's been in here a long time because he had a couple of them missed trials during COVID. And so he already had three mistrials during COVID because of like attorneys getting sick and like stuff like that. So, uh, if you have a mistrial, I thought then you don't go back to a trial again. I no, thought that was it. No, oh. that's not how it works here in the state. Some states it does. After so many, you don't. You don't. But not here. That's how it works in Law and Order SVU. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, no, they don't. They don't do that here, but he's already had three missed trials, so he's just like, well, Darren, I'm never, like, I'm, am I ever going to go to court? It's, but then they rescheduled him for, I think it's like January 10th or something like that, and he's like, I'm still, they're never going to, it's never going to happen again. And I was like, that sucks. So, yeah. But he's like looking, even, you haven't even done your evidence here. I know, I know. Is it even scheduled? Like, when's it scheduled no, for? There's no schedule. <laughs> They're not doing. They're not taking anybody to court. They are doing because they were all supposed to go to court last week. They're just doing um video court for people, and they're lining people up and going in and doing video court. Um, but they're not doing it for most people. Just some people that like, some districts aren't doing it, and some are. And is it because of the coronavirus? Yeah, because of the nine hundred eleven inmates had it. Holy crap. Yeah. Did you get it? No, I didn't get it because I'm I'm segregated. But like, uh, what happened was, and I called it too, and they got pissed. People were talking shit to me, but so they okay, so they started coming in here with these brown trays, right? And I refused to eat off of them because I was like, you can't sterilize plastic. So I'm like, no, they ain't no way in heck I'm eating off this stuff. And they should have been doing throwaway ones. Yeah, so we were on throwaway ones, but then they also made all these ground trays again. Well, then people started complaining. They were like, man, this, something tastes like bacteria. And they're like, how do you know what the bacteria tastes like? People were like, well, I assume it just don't taste right. You know what I mean? Like something ain't right about it. And they kept yeah. doing all that, kept doing that. I still wouldn't eat. And then, of course, you know, when I don't eat, I go crazy. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. so I, w I wouldn't eat or whatever. And then next thing you know, this girl, she gets blood on her cheese. And uh, for somebody to cut themselves, then like a, a day later, the whole kitchen staff was fired, like all the people. And mm -hmm. then they went back to Trace. And then they did two tests on people, and they both were positive. And then they did, because, you know, now they're saying you can get it from, like, surfaces, right? So that's yep. what happened. You had to get it from the surface, from this paper Trace, and everybody was eating off of them. And then they came in here. They called the National Guard in, and they came in, and it was 911 people. Did anybody die from it? No. Um, fortunately, I guess, 
everybody had good <laughs> good lungs in here, which is shocking compared to some of these people that be smoking this mess and stuff in here. But um, I got really, really sick, but I didn't test positive for COVID. Then they gave, I didn't, and then they gave me fluid and they gave me strep. And I didn't have none of those. So they were saying, well, Darren, it's either a really bad sinus infection or you got pneumonia. Because, I mean, I was bad. I was real bad. But I wasn't corona symptoms. Mine was mostly like sinus symptoms, you know. And um, You feel better now? Yeah, you can still hear my voice a little bit, the draining, but yeah, yeah they had, um, the people were bad here. Like, um, some people had, but like a lot of people didn't have any symptoms. Most people are asymptomatic. That's why they were coming around taking people's temperatures. And I was sitting there like, it ain't going to do any good if everybody's asymptomatic. And then sure enough, all the tests came back that way. I was like, dang. Because like, mm. you know, you're in here and they won't let us have any masks. So you're walking around your pods with no mask on, and most of these people go out with people, you know what I mean? Wait, why can't you guys have masks? They, they asked the lady, a spokesperson lady for El Paso that, and I read it in the paper, and she was like, oh, we have to be concerned about safety issues with masks because people could hurt each other with them. But you can't kill yourself like with a little mask that is uh, the ones that are like... It was just a paper up. It was a kind of she was saying like staples and you know crap like that, but they were not staples compared to somebody's respiratory, their lungs, you know, whatever. I used to ask them all the time when I'd go to court, I'd be like, why can we don't get a mask? Why can we? Cause everybody used to go to court and there would be no mask. And, and I would think that when you're out with people, you'd have to have yeah, I mean, no. you're, if you're in by yourself, that's fine. We take yeah. ours off in school when we're far away. It was in the news, so, like, the girls called, they recorded the video visit, and they get sent it to the news where the girls were walking around in groups without masks on. Because the the person's family member was pissed, like, why don't y'all got masks in there? Y'all walking around mm-hmm. in groups. Yeah. Good. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, maybe. What else is new? Oh, I was listening to the crazy. I got this crazy lady in my vent been yelling about methamphetamine. Where is it at? Where is it at? She's dying for some myth. Have you talked to Harley recently? Yeah, I talked to her earlier today. She was at work. And, um, oh, that's good because she said her hours got cut back. Yeah. So she was having a hard time with money. She borrowed some, I think. Well, that's good. She like Katrina that or money. something. That's, huh? part of the, that's part of the thing is she needs to learn the lesson. That's the lesson she's learning from this. And it's good for yeah. her because she needs to learn that lesson of uh, understanding that she shouldn't have been listening to people in pyramid schemes because it was more than one. I wonder, is she still doing it? Is she no, still no, doing no, this no. stuff? No. It was more than one. Whatever it was um, uh, that they had her doing was like a couple of different things. It yeah, you can have her doing a bunch of random shit. It wasn't that she. What the fuck's wrong with you? It wasn't that she like blew, blew all the money. She did what she was supposed to do with it, but then there was like, I'd say fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars of it that was just Melissa's crap. You know what I mean? When that fifteen yeah. to two thousand dollars would have got you through the rest of the year. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so that's where she's got to learn. She's learning that lesson on that, but. I've already talked to Amber, and she knows she's taking the money for the car, and she's giving her the car back, and she's going to take the money from me. But she's going to make, I told her to make her wait a little bit longer, and she said, Yeah, for sure. She doesn't need a car right now unless she gets another job. Then she probably does because she'll have to drive. Yeah, but she can't just not have a car. She's got to get grocery. I mean, she's got to take dogs to the vet. She's got to. The other two can take, and she can use the other people's car, no? No, because then that's the whole thing we said, remember? The whole thing is, you're not supposed to be letting people drive around your car and somebody else's insurance, so she shouldn't be driving around their yeah. car and such a, So it's got to yeah, be both ways. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I just told her from the beginning, like, if you don't need a brand new car, you could have just thought, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's, something. It's fine with that. I mean, because anybody's going to let me give her $15,000 for it, and then she's just going to let me worry about paying her the, yeah. 10, the 10 later. But, um, or even not even worried about that, we'll never. But, like I told her, I said, you know, I want it on our insurance, not on yours. So, um, she's going to keep it for a few more weeks. So, it's and I staying told her, on Brenda's insurance? Huh? It'll, so the car will stay on Brenda's insurance? No, 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 no. It'll, it, um, 
Harley's going to have instructions on what to do about putting on ours. Yeah. Uh, okay. so, it's like cheaper with Grandma because she's older, but. Well, it'll be cheap on mine, too. It's just Harley can't be by, can't be by Harley's self. Yeah, because mine, I don't have anything, like, no record of driving stuff and all that. Like, so mine would be the same price as, and Britta's might be, like, twenty thirty dollars cheaper, you know what I mean? Yeah. One, but I'm saying under Harley, an 18-year-old? Yeah, no, so she, she wouldn't, we'd never do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. No, God, no. couldn't afford that. That'd be $400 a month, you know what I mean, just for insurance. I know, because I was yeah. um, I'm pretty, I was um, 18 like that, and I remember. I'm moving Harley onto my phone plan, so she doesn't have to pay one hundred and twenty dollars a month for her phone. That's stupid. So I yeah, think that is mine for fifty bucks point. a month. How much? And she, it's not even unlimited for her. What? No, she said it. Her bill. She sent it to me. Her bill was one hundred and fourteen. Wasn't even unlimited. So I'm adding her to my plan, and with my teacher discount and with like the new phone and everything, it's fifty dollars a month. I was like, you're better off paying fifty than paying. And I told her, I was like, you don't have to pay me each month, you know, until you get another job. If you save up some money, I'm like, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. I don't but understand it's much, why and it's unlimited. Not unlimited. No, she said it's not. That's crazy. But she's going to have to get a new phone number, though, so we'll have to make sure we tell you that, though, because um, they told her she should trade in her phone and then get a new phone number on mine. But I'm like, well, both AT&T, why can't she just keep her phone? She called and talked to them. I should probably call and talk to them myself. You can keep the phone, but the problem, you can keep the phone and just get a new SIM card. She doesn't need a new SIM card because it's still at and No, you have to get a new SIM card, though. You just, what you have to do mm-hmm. is tell them you want to add a line and you just want the, you want the SIM card because then you'll put the SIM card in her phone and it will work automatically. That's all you mm-hmm. Okay. Because when I, yeah. had both, I had both iPhones for a long time because I'd use one for, like, gambling, stuff like that. That's all I did is I switched SIM cards out. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so that's that. all you got to do. But she'll have to pay the remaining months of her contract out. But. She did. She said she doesn't matter. That's what I told her. I said, let me know when yours ends, and we'll try to do it that day. Like, as long as we can do it after school, I can go, and you can go, and we can be there. Because I yeah. told her she can do it herself, but they're going to call me to verify that I'm allowing her and I told her I'll give her my password and all that and they can yeah. call me to verify. Yeah. But it's gonna it's just stupid. I mean I could save her seventy dollars. Well then I told her, I said I she's gonna I talked to her about all those options, you know, um so she's gonna take through the break and like try to relax or whatever and then look I told her to look into N C ready schools. Um I told her to look into uh Charleston Southern School. I told her like to take and write everything down pros, cons, what she likes, what she doesn't like, and then some of the things you don't like could be things that we could fix, you know what I mean? Everything's not going to be gravy, you know what I mean? So I told her, I said, do all that, I says, and then um, um, she looked at the lively because um, I said, if you do that, you could do it with Naya. I says, and because they have like, um, they have it's a better environment. It's still going to be about the same price, but it's a better environment. You see what But if she's got, she'll take some of that money and could pay some of it up for, you know, a little bit, then she'll use her money just to have to cover grocery, you know, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I said, that's why I took her up. I was like, I'll put you on my phone and then you just worry about like paying for the dog. Well, my mom actually said she would pay for the dogs. My mom said that if Harley tells her like the vet info and stuff, like, she will send a Chewy box to Harley every month for the dog. Yeah. But Harley hasn't given me any of the info. Um, and my mom said she'll pay for their flea and tick and stuff. My mom's like, I'll pay for the dogs. And then Harley can just use her paycheck for groceries and whatever she needs. So. Yeah, yeah. She only makes like $400 a month. I know, so. I know, I know. And, and the thing but is, Harley like, didn't she, tell my mom the information yet. I don't know why she didn't get my mom on the have Because she is nervous about, you know what I mean, like asking for help because she's never had to. You know what I mean? So you kind of my mom that. offered it to her. She didn't even ask my mom. My mom was just like, she if Harley will let me help with the dog. She's like, I'll do flea tick, vet visits. She's like, and I'll do, um, you know, I'll send a chewy box and some toys and treats and then whatever food they use. She's like, find out what, what kind of food they eat. And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk to her about it. Yeah. She, I mean, she's a, I gave her a lot on the list. So she's supposed to be going little by little, checking it off. The main thing she was supposed to be looking at is, you know, finding a more suitable place to stay that was more, you know, yeah, better for her. 
you know. And I told her, I said, don't just, I said, you, you have one minute me. remaining. I said, you need to figure out if you really want to go to Coastal. She was like, I really don't know. That's why I haven't really done the all the stuff. And I was like, that's why you need to sit down and look yep. into all the different ones and see if that's really where you want to go or not. Because it might be God's way of telling you that's, you're not going to like it. You know what I mean? Or maybe you don't want to do it. Yep. So that's why she needs her. a change. Like go somewhere else, you know? Yeah. So that's why I told her, I said, over the next couple of days, I said, be writing all this down, go look, check pros, cons. I said, I'll check back with you over the holidays with about it. And then we'll go from there deciding, well, you know what you want to do, whatever. Cause you got, you know, she's got the money for November and then April is going to pay for December. So that'll get, you know what I'm saying? Until she can get figured out. She's what she's going to be okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, anyway, she was freaking out about money a little bit. So. But, yeah, she needed to. So that way, she did, the next time people try to scheme her into something, she'll sit back and be like, wait a minute now. You know what I'm saying? She's got some lessons she yeah. had to learn. You know? Yep. But, anyway. All, all right. right we'll talk to her. Like, Thank you for using Global Telling. Leticia Stelk, that call to me was just a boring. Amy Bolton seems a pretty normal, and Leticia seems a pretty normal when she's talking to her, except for the control that she still has over Harley. Well, in 2020. And I don't know, she is definitely a piece of work in the car insurance. So Leticia's going to get car insurance in her name, and then she's going to pay back ten thousand dollars from working in prison did amy bolton actually believe that leticia stelk was innocent drop your comments i love to hear from you and with that it is a wrap everybody i thank you for coming in uh, please make sure you click that like uh, the subscribe and the bell for notifications so you do not miss the next time we drop a video and or a go live everybody have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay a vigilant. I am out.